Hi, my name is Nick Hearn. I'm a product manager at Thomson Reuters. I work within the litigation, technology, and services business, which delivers integrated software and services that help legal teams do their jobs more efficiently and effectively by maximizing the value of their time through every step of a case. Our products are integrated with each other by design, so efficiencies and cost savings are captured as litigators analyze a case and create their own work product. The product I'll address today is called Case Logistics, our document review and production platform, which gives legal teams a quick and accurate way to review paper and electronically stored information throughout the discovery process. One of our newest features is analytics, which is what we'll focus on today. Analytics is used within the discovery process to better provide organization of information and more quickly determine the relevance of a document. Based on a mathematical concept analysis, it learns the relationships between words to create significant efficiencies. Our analytics functionality is powered by CAT, by Content Analyst Company, and incorporates near-duplicate document detection, dynamic conceptual clustering, which is a grouping of documents by topics or concepts, and email threading, which organizes emails by conversation. Let me quickly show you how this functionality works. Uh, what you see in front of you is Case Logistics, our e-discovery document review platform. Again, we offer the ability to look at and group documents by clusters, email threads, uh, exact or near, and exact or near duplicate documents. You can use these tools to batch your documents up front for uh, greater efficiencies, or as you're going through your review process, you can identify documents for example, just by this simple icon that designates that this document has, these documents have near or exact duplicates within your corpus. You can easily just right click on a given document and limit your list to it and its related family. For example, document 23 is just a simple form agreement where there are three other documents that are anywhere from 98 to 99 percent similar to you know, the parent document within this, this group or this family of documents. Uh, which, for example, could be a form contract, a 100-page contract that has been passed between two attorneys where there have just been minor modifications or revisions. Case logistics, we've easily grouped these documents together. And as a reviewer, you can use our red line text compare tool to quickly just distinguish and determine what the differences are between those documents so that you realize greater efficiencies and hopefully only having to read just one document with that red line text as opposed to reading four separate 100-page contracts. Uh, as a reviewer, and then you can go into our coding tool and then quickly designate whether those documents are responsive or not responsive and whether or not any privilege exists for those documents. Aside from just limiting your list to just a single document where perhaps you've identified there are near duplicates or it's part of an email thread uh, family, you can actually reorganize and regroup your entire list based on any of our analytic concepts. So for example, email threads. Here you see that we've taken our list and we've begun pulling in documents from lower down in our list to associate them, for example, with document four to reassemble and recreate an entire email thread or conversation so that you can read all of these documents in their proper context. Uh, and as you're doing so, we're exposing to the user by default the ability to identify whether there have been additional conversants, for example, to an email, whether there's been any minor modifications, for example, the subject line heading has changed, uh, or whether or not just it's considered an inclusive email, meaning we're flagging it to let you know that these are the documents you need to read to capture the entire context of an email in its entirety. For example, if you and I have a conversation over the course of 10 emails, uh, all you need to know as a reviewer is that you need to look at the final and last email in that chain, which in the body of text contains the original email and every reply between you and I. Now, for example, if, if I decide to forward this email chain on to a supervisor for advice and then he replies back, those are two additional emails that are not captured in the final email in that chain, so they will also be designated as true or inclusive, so that the reviewer knows that they now need to read that final email and those two additional emails, that side conversation, to capture the entire context of this email chain, while they do not have to read perhaps the additional seven emails uh, before. So you're realizing some significant savings, uh, time savings or efficiencies um, just by following the rules of um, inclusiveness. Finally, uh, we offer clustering. 
similar email threading, you can group and reorganize your entire list so that you're reading documents uh, that are all contextually similar uh, in concept. But we also expose our conceptual clusters in our IntelliFolder structure here on the left-hand side. So our demo case, Gil Bauer v. DC Corp. at a high level has been captured as a concept. DC Corporation and employee action. Um, an employee action uh, revolves around several elements, and one of those is um, employees being exposed to mold or asbestos and spores. At a high level, you see that this concept has been pulled from our corpus uh, about concept about mold and spores, and then at a more micro level or, or a sub level, uh, the pellets uh, or pallets or the actual hazardous mold or actual air particulates uh, and spores in this particular workplace or in this particular action. You also see that we've sprinkled in some of the Enron corpus just to provide kind of some visibility into the actual bucket of other concepts that maybe exist outside of our uh, demo case that you see here. Uh, if users wish to, uh, they can actually add to our list uh, coherence scores, which will kind of give you or gauge, you know, how closely to the heart of each of these concepts do given documents reside, uh, where that can maybe provide additional efficiencies to to maybe reviewers at you know, reviewers or administrators at the end of the day. And again, all of these technologies can be used to just provide more efficiencies when going through your corpus. Uh, you know, as a reviewer, or you can use it as a means of batching uh, your documents on the front end uh, to provide, again, uh, reviewers just all like documents with similar concepts or to ensure that your duplicate groups are never uh, broken or email threads are never broken when batching documents out to a set of reviewers. And that concludes our demo today. Uh, if you have any questions or want to get any more information or an in-depth demonstration of case logistics, you can visit us at legalsolutions.com slash case logistics or call 1-800-762-5272. Thank you for listening.